what's up you guys welcome or hopefully welcome back to the channel it's your girl the real toy smith and my skin is just not giving what the fuck is supposed to give like my dermatologist said that that shit was gonna get a lot worse before it get better and baby this has got to be worse because fuck but anyway make sure y'all like comment subscribe down below click the notification bell so y'all don't miss none of the bullshit but uh anyway you guys today is june 4th i am sitting in my car i'm about to get ready to leave work um i typically don't work on weekends but the last couple of weekends i've been traveling and just spending a lot of money um uh, money that i didn't really want to spend but had to spend so i just need to double up and get all my money back so i'm gonna be working hella hours these next couple of weeks so i could play some catch up with some things um this vlog is probably just gonna be like a little weekend cleaning vlog because like i said i've been traveling for the last couple of weekends so i'm not trying to be out in the streets i'm not trying to hang out i'm not trying to spend no money i in the house okay but i do need to clean up you know get a house a little deep cleaning which i do try to do like every beginning of the month just to give the house a nice deep cleaning um so yeah and i need to wash all of our clothes from when babe and i were traveling and then when i traveled to arkansas to see my uncle so yeah I, it's a lot that i gotta do this weekend but let me give y'all some updates real quick so number one your girl is back in school and this time i'm definitely gonna stay consistent with me i be on a good run with school and then if something happens that consumes too much of my mental or if a lot is going on i can't really devote myself to my classes and um this time around i just really need to be on top of shit so i can get where i need to be with my degree um so that's that and then the next thing is y'all your girl finally got a motherfucking car it has been a long time coming for those of y'all that know you know and for those of y'all that don't i haven't had a car for about two and a half years because um i got into a car accident it was not my fault but they end up totaling out my car and side note now that i think about it i should have just got estimates at other places to see how much it would have been to get my car fixed so i could have still had it but anyway i let them total it out so i didn't get another car right away um because i lived right behind my office and um I, I had babe's car to depend on and then everything is pretty much within walking distance or uber distance from me including my family so it wasn't really a dire need to hop into another car note and insurance and blah 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 um but it's just been a long time coming like it feels so good to be back in my own car to be able to move around the way i want to move around and just not to put so much strain like we've been doing on babe's car because i mean that that's been our only car so um it's nice that we can switch up cars now and we don't always have to take his car or always use his car or whatever else the case may be and your girl got her license back if you motherfucking know then y'all know but your girl is out here legit to quit and uh is that it legit to quit your girl is out here legit um but yeah that's that's pretty much it i am really 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 focusing in this year on manifesting the things that i want and making sure i put out that energy into the world that i want to get back in and it has really really just been working for me um i've been trying to be a little bit closer to god you know what i'm saying control my attitude um not letting things consume me that i can't control or change if y'all watch the new year new intro video like you should have watched then y'all know what your girl trying to manifest but yeah that's pretty much it i just really quickly want to come on here and introduce this video so yeah let's just get okay right you guys it. i promise i won't talk too much i just wanted to give you the tea on what else has been going on and what you guys can kind of expect um, so as I told you in the intro clip, I am back in school. I am currently going to school to finish my bachelor's degree in social work. I have a little under two years if you include all of my clinicals and externships. And as far as what portion of social work I am going to major in, um, I haven't decided yet. I am leaning either towards medical social work, so working in a hospital or school social work where I'm working with kids um, I do still have a decent amount of time to decide so you know who knows maybe I'll end up doing both 
But aside from getting my bachelor's in social work, I am also renewing my phlebotomy license. If I could have gotten a degree in phlebotomy, I would have, but that wasn't an option. So I'm just here renewing the certification every four to five years, I think. So aside from school, a milestone for me, guys, is I've been in my job for five years, which if you know, you know, it's definitely accomplishment. I would say that I'm content in my job, but I'm not comfortable because you never want to get too comfortable. Anything can change. Things change all the time. Um, but when I say content and not comfortable, I'm content. I like my work environment. I like what I do. I think everybody sometimes has a love hate relationship with their work, but I'm not comfortable in where I want my career goals to be. So there's a lot of growth that needs to still be done, i.e. school and just at work in general. But yeah, I've been at my company for five years. And another milestone, speaking of years, you guys, I have been on YouTube now for one whole year. I have 127 subscribers and I think I have 19 videos posted. And let me just say this, I didn't prepare myself for the amount of consistency and time needed to go into these vlogs and uploading these videos. And I know to some of the OGs or just to people who are, um, have a good understanding of YouTube it's like wait what but what I mean by that is is that like I just didn't expect all the editing and the content and the engaging you know matter of the content in order to like really get those watch hours and those subscribers and those comments and you know what I'm saying those likes like there's so much more that goes into YouTube than just uploading a video and expecting someone to watch it it has to be an engaging video you know what I'm saying if that makes sense so and that brings me to my next point, which is these last six months of the year, which I can't even believe that we've passed the first six months of the year. But these last six months of the year are just really going to be about me driving myself to be consistent in bringing and building my brand so I can put that face value out there so you guys can know who I am. So I can, you know, tell you guys my story, which for me, if you watch the new year, new intro video, this year has really been about structure and peace within myself and just manifesting the things that I really want in life, especially being in my mid thirties. So getting my car accomplished it, going to school, I'm accomplishing it. Um, the evolution at work, I'm accomplishing it. And it's unfortunate because a lot of those milestones and accomplishments are things that I have recorded and just didn't upload. So you guys didn't get that portion of my story, but moving forward, I want to make sure I'm consistent. So you guys, you know, see me get my degree in social work, see me going from a long-term girlfriend to a wife, see me going through the IVF process of becoming a mom and why I had to go to go through the IVF process in becoming a mom, you know, just so much in my life that I feel is personable and relatable, which is why I basically started this YouTube. YouTube channel because I felt like I had a story that was personable and relatable um, if all of that makes sense but yeah that that's pretty much it guys that's what you can expect just a lot of consistency and um, yeah the videos starting my IVF journey um, traveling um, just so much so if you guys have made it this far thank you so much for watching make sure you guys like comment subscribe so you can stay a part of the journey and you guys can watch my evolution as I go through it myself but uh yeah I'm gonna cut out on the video here and I'll see you guys in the next vlog Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now
sir, 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 sir.